Hey. Hey. Welcome back to SoCal Sense. We're here with the beautiful and lovely Lauren. And today, she's going to be doing a speed around compliment test of some popular fragrances. She's gonna let us know what she likes and what she doesn't like in her honest, unbiased opinion. Yes. So let's get started. The first one we're gonna have her smell is Jeremy Fragrances. Fragrance one, Office for, for Men. Me. So Lauren, what do you mm -hmm. think of Office for Men? I like this one. Would you like to smell it on a guy? Yes, I would like to smell it on a guy. Yeah, Out it's nice. 10, I think this is the one that was a seven or an eight. Seven Five. or eight out of 10. It's pretty nice. I feel like it'd be nice outside. Yeah. Yeah. It's very uh, refreshing. Mm -hmm. That bergamot at the top. Yes, I agree. Cool. Yeah, I like this one. Seven or eight out of 10. Seven or eight. Office for men. No, we're going to go one on through. All right. So our next fragrance is Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Male, the club banger of fragrances. <laughs> Only at the club. One of them, dude. All right. Here we go. Ultra Male. Right, well, I like this at the club. Mm, it's iffy. I, I, I'm not, it's like too sweet right now. I don't know if I really like it anymore. I thought I did. No, I don't. I'm not. Um, this is like a thumbs down for me now. Thumbs down. Yeah. Thumbs down. Not even rateable. Oh well, it's rateable, but like six, five, okay. like five or six. I get five. how someone could wear it in the club, but too it's sweet. Like, it's too sweet. It's too sweet. Yeah. All right. Good. The next one I'm gonna have her smell is La Nuit de la Homme Intense. This is either you like it or you don't type of fragrance. Or you just don't. No. <laughs> Has anyone ever liked it? Nope. Not that I'm aware of. No. Nope. Oh, no, yeah, it's giving me the marker vibe still. So it smells like a marker. It smells like a mark like a scented marker. So no. No, don't buy this. Alright. Uh, one through ten. One through ten. Um, it's gonna be like a one. Alright. A one or two for La Nuit de la Homme Intense, Yves Saint Laurent. All right, so the next one is Prada's Luna Rosa Black. This is the latest flanker from the Luna Rosa collection. This is my personal date night the latest one? banger. It's the latest flanker. Uh, flanker. I haven't ever heard that word. So, so different. So flanker so. means like they take the one cologne and then they create slight variations of it oh, and release it under a different name. I did not know that was what it was called. Yeah. Imagine a date night, kind of cooler weather. Yes, I could, yeah, I like this, I like this one. When it, yeah, I could picture it outside. I feel like it'd be nicer, but I like it. Out of 10? Um, uh, I would do like an eight. This one's good. Eight. Better than better. Yeah. Okay. Better. Eight out of ten. Prada Luna Rosa Black. All right. The next one I'm gonna have her smell is Versace's Dylan Blue. What do you think of Dylan Blue? I like this one. Um. It like reminds me of a smell from when I was younger that someone used to say, hey, my dad. I don't know, I think that's why I like it. I like it, yeah, it smells good. One through 10? I feel like it'd be good outside too. Um, one through 10, seven. Seven, okay. all right. Sashi, Dylan Blue. All right, the next fragrance that I'm going to have more smell is Chanel's Platinum Egoist, the smell of the 90s. I guess mean, that's so. I guess so, yeah. Wow. Okay, Smell of the 90s. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know why. I like, don't. I don't know if I like this one. To me, it smells like a mature man. A mature like man? Like a dad. 
Like a, like a casual suit? Yeah. I feel like someone could wear this like on the golf course or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that, but it wasn't like my first smell. It was not the greatest, but maybe it smells good once once it's been there for a second. One through ten. Like a like a six, maybe five. Yeah, it's not my favorite. Okay. All right. Fly me. Yeah. Release. And the last one we're gonna have Lauren smell on this speed round is a uh, Creed Aventus. Let us know what you think of. Aventus. Okay. Okay. Um, just, it smells like peppermint. Peppermint to me, like the essential oil. Eucalyptus, peppermint. It smells like, yeah. It smells like essential oil to me, that's all I think about. One through 10? Um, I mean, I would rate an essential oil like, a seven because of like it's an essential oil but this like I probably wouldn't think it's anything different so I guess it's a seven. Seven out of ten. Not bad. It's not good. Like All right. Oil. Creed Aventus. Seven out of ten. So that was the speed round of the openings. Now we're gonna have a quick speed round of the dry down, see if you like it better, worse, the same. Let us know what you think. Fragrance one, office for men. Yeah, I think it's all the same. I still like this one. Still good? Yep. Alright. Okay. Jean-Paul Gaultier, Ultra Male. Still too sweet. Yeah, just reminds me of being in a car. Like a car wash and you're like picking out the, the scents okay. that you want. Alright. <laughs> and... La Nuit de la Home Intense. Still smells like a marker. Still that one or two out of ten? Yeah, still would not want to smell it on anybody else. Alright, gentlemen, don't get this one. <laughs> Baker Special, Prada, Little Rosa Black, Date Night, Late Night. How did I get it? Oh. I think I smelled like the... I think I liked it the first time. Right now I feel like it's like... Maybe I need to wait a second, but I think I liked it the first time. Or maybe it just needs to be like outside. I still like it. I think I just like the first one better. So you like the opening better? Yeah. All right. Next we have Versace's Dylan Blue. Yeah, still like this one. I think I like it better like this. So dry down better for her. Yeah. Great. And Chanel's Platinum Egoist. Mm. I think I like it better like this, but I still am not the biggest fan. Okay. All right. And then last but not least, Aventus by Creed. Ooh, I actually like it better like this. All right. I did not like that initial smell though. So it was a seven higher than a seven now? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with my seven, but it smells definitely better than when you first read it. Dry down smells better. Yeah. Though. It's like a seven and a half. So looking at all these, which would be your top two? I think I know what your top two are, but... Mm -hmm. What are my top two? I think you like these two the best. Okay. One of them just reminded me of smell of my dad. I think that's why I like it, but he he like wears your He's got those daddy so. issues. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it just like reminds me of the smell. Um, yeah, I think I like... I think, office for was it this men. One? So well, let me give you the smell test for both. So this is office for men, and this is Dylan Blue. I think I like this one better. Office for men. Is that your winner? Yeah, and it's like the after like I smell that one after it's like smelling really a lot better. So it's in between, I think this one is better. All right, there you have it. Office for men is our winner. That was a fun speed round with you, Lauren. Thank you. Um, be sure to follow us on our social medias listed uh, right down below. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> awesome. Thank Yay. you.